Michel Bugma is a farmer in the village of Tibin in Burkina Faso. Life is hard here. The soil is deteriorating due to high heat and wind, and climate change is resulting in shorter season cycles. Food shortages abound. Challenge in my village and in this village and around this village as a poverty of soil. Yield is decreasing. So you have to make everything we can to make soil more productive. And it is why we research to find solution to make more productivity for our people. And that's what's happening at Enera the Institute for Agricultural and Environmental Research in Burkina Faso. It has access to Agora, the Research for Life program sponsored by the Food and Agriculture Organization, allowing free online access to high-quality, timely and relevant scientific journals, books and databases. Because of globalization, uh, Africa cannot be away from this uh, technology knowledge sharing. So uh, to have access to Agora is a good thing for us and also we have uh, to have access to technology to train the farmer to make the, the technology available for them so they can use these technologies and improve their crop yields. Over 80% of Burkina Faso's population is employed in the agriculture sector. Three quarters are subsistence farmers. The goal of development efforts goes beyond food security. It's about turning produce into profits. Food security is, it doesn't mean anything if they cannot improve their income. They have to improve their income. And this is why we improve the yield for them to, to, to they could sell it and have a better income. So improve their livelihood. And they did it with the help of Agora, developing microdoses of fertilizer, a more efficient but also more labor-intensive method which produces a higher yield. In the beginning, we found that the work was harder than the old method. But when we saw the results, we realized the microdose is better, so we used it. Now that we are familiar with it, we think it's even easier to use than the old fertilizer. Achieving food security for the more than one billion hungry people will depend on sustainable increase in agricultural production. These increases will be achieved through the application of new technologies. Many of these are available in the vast body of literature generated by the world's agricultural science community. Even Michel, who admits initial skepticism, was won over. With microdoses, we have a much better harvest than with our traditional methods. Agora is one of the biggest portals for agricultural journal access. With just a click of the button, the electronic library searches key words, providing constant updates and new ideas. As the technology partner, Microsoft provides the platform for access and authentication, able to perform at the same level as today's most heavily trafficked websites. Science research has been available for a long time. It's been, you know, since the beginning of time. The problem is access to leading science research has not been available. Uh, and that's what the UN saw as a real niche, is that they could, they could bring together the publishers, the science journal publishers, get some support from the universities, bring their connection to the developing countries, and promote access. To In addition to agricultural information, the Research for Life initiative provides research across health sciences and the environment. Agora has expanded the boundaries of access to agricultural information, resulting in innovative solutions and improved productivity and household incomes. 
giving many of the world's poorest citizens a better life and a better future.